Hi friends, welcome to Stay Stitching. My name is Carla and I am glad you are here. This is part three of my recent Fabric Mart haul. And in this one, I'm gonna share with you a silk bundle that I bought. Now, I've been very interested in silk lately. I've never sewn anything with silk. I have a couple of pieces of silk. One piece is very large, it's a beautiful green. Um, silk Charmeuse Jacquard. Um, it's the one with the pattern woven in. And then the other is just a, like a Georgette, um, which I got in a Fabric Mart bundle, I think. Um, but I didn't buy the whole silk bundle, but you can get silk in a Fabric Mart bundle. And so um, this is my bundle. Now the Fabric Mart Mart silk bundle costs $49 and you get 10 yards of silk. So let's see what I got. Guess what the color of the first thing I got is? This is a true blue cool red. Okay, I got one yard and eight inches of this beautiful Charmeuse. It feels lovely. It's delightful, but it is red. There goes all the silk. Why did I think that I could hold silk on my lap? It's got a life of its own. So there's that one yard, eight inches. I don't know if I could get a whole um, cami out of that or what I will wind up doing with this maybe giving it away or something to someone who, I, I was thinking about maybe trying to make a scarf for a girlfriend who likes red. That would be beautiful to have a red silk scarf. This is divine. This is a silk twill. I would call this like a necktie print. It's a foulard. Um, there's a yard and three quarters of this. That's definitely enough to do um, a camisole it's heavy. I mean, it's twill, not heavy, but heavier than that charmeuse. And, um, this would make a great pussy bow blouse. I don't think there's enough. There's the back. There's the front. It's really lovely. It would be, um, gorgeous to use. You know how men's vests have like the back is sometimes made out of a silk or a rayon or an acetate. This would be nice for that. It would be nice for a coat lining, uh, maybe just the body part or maybe just the arms and use a coordinating fabric for the body part. So there's that. And I love the colors. Love them. Yeah, that's beautiful. This is stunning. There's four yards of this. This is a suiting weight fabric. You could make a sheath dress out of this or pants, a pencil skirt. It's a jacquard. I don't know if you could see those lovely woven in, um, irregularly shaped. Are those lion faces? Those are lion faces. I thought these were just weird shapes the whole time. I don't know if my camera can show this or not. I'm fairly certain those are lion faces. Look at this fabric and see if these are lion faces. Don't they look like lion faces? Those are definitely lion faces. You can see it at like very specific angles. There, I got a good shot of it. So now you can't give me away. I can't give you away. I'm never giving you away, ever. I'm gonna hold on to you. You're never leaving this house. Your big brothers left me. So sad and all alone, and uh, you're not getting out of here, Wilson, so get used to it. 
You're gonna have to talk one of your brothers into moving back within clutching range if you want out of here. Well, someone has to run up the stairs. That's right. So this is pretty awesome. Um, lion faces on here. This is navy blue, a dark, rich navy blue. Um, I don't know. I guess a jacket. I, I, it, I don't know. I'm speechless. I don't know quite what to make of that. Now that I know that there's lion faces on it. They remind me of the lion from um, The Wizard of Oz. So it's a little off-putting. Okay. This is pretty delightful. This would be great for the back of a vest or the inside of a coat or, and how much of this is there? A yard and a half. I could make five miles of silk bias binding with this. How cool would that be? I could make bias binding out of that charmeuse. That would be a mess though, wouldn't it? I don't think I could ever get that cut straight. Never mind. Ixnay on the IS Bay on the red silk. No, not going to do that. But this is a taffeta. So this is a silk taffeta. The colors are rich and beautiful and woven in. So you get that three-dimensional look. And this might be just the ticket for some stunning bias binding. It also make a pretty snappy skirt, a yard and a half. It's too stiff for a camisole. It could line something, but that's taffeta. So, you know, you're not, that's stiff. Someone let me know down below whether silk taffeta is okay for bias binding or if it's too stiff. Don't know. And the last one, there's a yard and a quarter of this. I don't know what this is. This is satin. This is satin. It's heavy. It's a, this is a matte-ish silk satin. So there's that. How much should I say? A yard and a quarter? So that silk bundle was $49. This is what I say to myself when I order these bundles. I could have spent $49 on something that was, <coughs> excuse me, precisely what I needed and wanted. It wouldn't have been as much fun as getting all of that. And having all these different weird things is a little bit of a challenge because I have to think about what to use them for. But I will come up with something and it could be maybe like, a, like purse linings or cosmetic bags. I could um, iron on that, um, that waterproofing stuff that you can get from by Annie. Um, so it's just something to think through the things that I could make with it. I won't buy another one for a long, long time because if I had spent that $50 on two yards, you know, of $25 a yard silk that was enough to make an actual blouse out of, then I would have something lovely that was in the exact colors that I wanted. But it's still fun, and you do get your 10 yards. Usually they err on the side of overing, overage, than on the side of, you know, not giving you the full 10 yards. So that was my Fabric Mart haul of recent days. So thank you for stopping by. I'm going to come back again, so this will be four parts of fabric that I'm sharing with you. 
And the next video will be about recently thrifted fabric. Take care. He's coming. He's running up the stairs. Oh, they can't be running that fast.